Hey, how's it going everybody? I want to talk a little bit about culture today. Now I realize this is such a a broad topic to cover, but I'm going to do my best to get this in this little short little window of time that I've got with you guys. So whenever I talk about culture, I'm talking about the attitudes, behaviors, and values of a company and its employees. I have no doubt that all of you have worked for companies with very strong cultures and also probably worked for companies that had absolutely toxic cultures. So you know the, the value and impact that a culture can have on an organization. And what we're seeing, especially over this past year, being as crazy as it has, is cultures are being tested unlike any other time in recent history. And we're also seeing that leaders who have been able to kind of maintain and hold on to some semblance of a strong-ish culture are struggling with all of their employees working from home because leading employees that work entirely remote versus in the office requires a different skill set. Now that's a topic for another day, but for the purposes of this video, it is important to note that. Now, when we think about culture, for me, it starts at the very, very tippy top of an organization. You have to make sure that whoever's leading the organization as a whole is putting a concerted effort in building and or maintaining the strong culture in that organization. Part of that is, is caring about the employees, and that's gonna be point number one. You have to genuinely care about your team, about all of your employees. You have to take the time to sit down, have conversations with them, pick up the phone, call them, see what's going on in their lives. Those little tiny gestures go so, so far. And I realize that as a leader of an organization or even a leader of a team, it can be challenging to find time but it is paramount. You have to find that time to work with your team, have conversations with your team all the way up and down the chain. It can't be just your direct reports. You've got to pop in and check on everybody in your organization because that time is so valued by them. I can't even begin to express how important it is for them. So topic number two I want to touch on is setting a mission. You've got to have a goal and a mission for the organization as a whole that the employees can get behind and rally behind and know that they're coming to work and fulfilling a purpose. They're part of a team that's getting something across the finish line. They feel valued. They know what they're adding to the organization. So mission is number two. You've got to have it. And then another one I want to touch on is, is accountability. We all have encountered um, toxic individuals in an organization. And there's a quote that comes to mind for me that basically says, culture is shaped by the worst behavior tolerated by leadership. That is so powerful because it's so true. We have all encountered those toxic individuals in an organization and they just seem to hang around and linger forever and ever. Uh, if you wanna find out who that individual is, go into a room, have conversations with people and say, hey, who's the asshole? They're gonna know, they're gonna point them out. At that point, you've gotta address it. You've gotta figure out how to have that conversation. And one thing that I've seen is some people struggle having those conversations because they're not easy topics to discuss. When you start talking about accountability, people get uncomfortable. They don't like having those difficult conversations. If you do struggle with that, there is a book that I highly recommend called Crucial Conversations. I can't say enough good things about that book. Basically, it helps you better navigate those discussions so that you can end up with an ideal outcome and achieve what your, your purpose is. So quick recap, we've got caring, mission, and accountability. Those three things, definitely something to focus on. Uh, again, there's so much more to talk on when you discuss culture at an organization. Uh, if any of you do have any questions, please feel free to leave a, a comment down below or reach out to me. Send me an email directly at sean at thewayofthewolf.com. Happy to have conversations, create additional content. That's, that's really what I'm here for. My goal is to help add value, and uh, best way I can do that is, is helping each of you through any challenges that you may have. Hopefully this added value. If it did, please like and subscribe and share all that good stuff. I do wanna thank all of you for your time, and I'll see you guys soon.